So if you guys have already seen my Janimation Tools overview video, you kind of already have an idea of how the tools work. Right here I just want to show you some of the new changes I made to the tool. So over here I just have my quick animation kind of laid out for me in keyframes. So I have him um, going down and kind of lifting up that upvote. So that's the animation I created that I want to demonstrate with. Over here I just have the default Reddit alien kind of ready for me if I ever need to go back to the default pose. And on the left over here I just have uh, the hotkeys as reference for you guys. And if you want to bring up the hotkeys, once again, you can press the star key on top of the numpad. That will hide and unhide the Janimation tool hotkeys. So let's get started. So here's my animation and as you can see I have all the keyframes set up the way I like them. And so what I want to do is, now we know this part's pretty easy. Um, I want him to kind of go down and I want that to be an ease out. So once again if you look at my hotkeys, number 6 would be ease out. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit E6 and at 75 is great. And there's him kind of bending down to pick up the upvote. And now on the end here, in this part I want him to kind of uh, ease out and in so that would be ease both which is number eight so we already know how to do that I'm just going to select that whole area press eight 75 is a good number hit enter and I have him kind of bending down and lifting the upvote and that looks great but now we have a little bit of a problem here and I'm just gonna take away the tween from here just so you guys can see it a little bit more clearly so now the problem here is I have his arm in the back behind his head on this frame but on the end of that keyframe his hand is actually in front of his head so now a lot of people would have a lot of problems trying to like figure out how to like switch everything up and also his face changes and a bunch of other stuff so what I've done is updated the new quicking to handle this kind of arm issue so the way you'd use it is first of all you figure out where your arm starts so this is the lower arm position and I can see that the lower arm moves from here all the way up to there so what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the lower arm and change the label to anything, so let's say the number one. And what that does is give a reference point to where it needs to go. So this number one needs to go over here. So if I label that symbol the same name, so let's go ahead and click on the frame, label it one. Now that that symbol knows to reference all the way up to this symbol. So it'll kind of accommodate all those changes. So let's go ahead and, and do the rest of them. Now another update I did is if you look over here, I did change this hotkey over here to a quick label. So N key will pretty much quickly label anything you have set up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the N key. A little prompt will come up. I'm going to hit 2, enter. And this one will be 3. So the upper arm will be 2 and the upvote will be 3. So, And over here I'm going to do the same. So that's the upper arm. I'm going to hit N, 2. And this is the vote. So I'm going to hit N and hit 3. So what the tool does is it will see that this keyframe doesn't have an end keyframe. So it will check where the blank keyframe is and on all the layers and see if it has something that matches it, like this keyframe over here. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to select just the center area, press 7 for the quick tween. And now this is kind of the new uh, quick tween prompt I created. You now have the options of easing both in or out. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it to both. And the tween strength is going to be at 75, click OK. It'll take a little bit of a while, but it will save you a lot of time. And there you go, it's done. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And there you have your animation. Now, it isn't perfect, and that's because when you use the quick screen, it doesn't account for rotation, simply because it's hard to uh, predict what kind of drawings you have for your rotation, if it's an arm, a leg, a head. But it doesn't take long to kind of fix it up, to kind of make it look a little bit better. And also, in this stage, you can also kind of spruce up your animation by giving it a bit of an arc. So I'm just going to fix it up slightly, just to kind of show you guys how it would work. And I think that's okay for now, you guys kind of get the point. Let's go ahead and play that animation again. And there you have it. You just had your animation quickly set up. There's this cross tween here over layers. So uh, that wasn't too hard to do. Hope you guys enjoy the new update to the tools and check you guys later.